So, uh, what have I been doing to this guards van? Uh, well, if I look at the front end of it here, uh, well, overall, I've taken half an inch off the bottom of the van body to lower it, so that now uh, it's more consistent in height with uh, this thing. Uh, if we look at the front of it, I put some window framing around the front windows to reduce the size of the aperture slightly and added a little uh, lamp bracket on the front in the middle there. A couple of little handrails, that's not the best one, the one on the other side is better. Stove pipe, uh, a local lamp on the rear and two windows on the rear. I decided while I had it I'd cut a couple of windows into the rear of it. Uh, and then just another coat of paint so it's the same livery as the loco, the same rattle can paint. All very crude and rough, no great finesse. I've not bothered trying to hack windows inside there at all. Uh, but when I took the body off the plywood chassis, I found that the plywood, once I got it off, left it in the house, it does that, warped. And so I've made a completely new uh, floor out of some modelling plastic sheet, so not plastic card, something else. And these are 3D printed uh, frames. I'm going to lift the body off, it's not, it's all right. And what I had to do with these was stretch them in two places and what you can see at this end are some artifacts which resulted from the stretch. Uh, I get a similar thing on the other side, slightly different, but I stretched the, uh, those frames and those are Backman metal wheels. They're the 21 point something millimeter diameter Backman wheels, the smaller ones, so that the actual height of the floor is about right. So now I think I've made something that uh, won't look too bad trundling around as a guards fan. Um, originally this was a 16 millimeter uh, or SM32, 32 millimeter gauged vehicle, uh, a scratch built vehicle. And very, apart from this basic plastic hard body and roof, uh, and keeping the buffer beams and the buffers, everything else has been changed. The whole underframe floor, etc., has been changed. But these couple of little extra detail bits, just because I was at it and I thought, let's have a go, and not done to my best ability, but enough to keep, be in keeping with that model. I decided that this looked a little bit too tall uh, in comparison to other things, particularly when it gets the wheels on. Uh, so I've been at it again, <laughs> hacking. You know, I love hacking. And as I've hacked through, there we are. Williamson of Peterborough, 1st of June 2001. So it's a little newer than I thought. I know 2001 is 20 years ago now, but uh, I bought this 10 or 15 years ago. So it wasn't that old when I bought it. But the techniques used in terms of building it are the same as uh, were used on some stuff which I'm pretty sure is uh, 
well, 20 years, 30 years, it's only 10 years earlier. You know, stuff done in the 90s, maybe even in the 80s. Anyway, there we go. So, whoever Williamson of Peterborough is, you made this, and I'm now hacking it apart. <laughs>